Welcome to Mediocre Gaming, and today we're playing World of Warships Legends. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and salutations. Today, Airstrike. Let's get to it. So the Airstrike's been out for a week, and after this coming week, it's going to go back to the developers with all the information and all the data that they've collected over the last two weeks in regards to aircraft carriers. Aircraft carriers, of course, are a new type of ship that eventually we'll all be able to use and buy uh, through the ship tech tree system. Now, this leads up to several questions regarding uh, aircraft carriers in particular. Uh, first of all, is it always going to be an airstrike type arena where there is only one aircraft carrier allowed per team? Now, being a new thing, of course, you would only want to you know, limit the number of aircraft carriers on any given match. Because how would it look if you had nine aircraft carriers on each team for a total of 18 aircraft carriers? That would be absolutely insane. Uh, the number of airplanes flying, the number of ships going from one direction to another direction. It would just be absolutely chaos. So I can see them wanting to reduce the total number of aircraft carriers on a given match. Is that going to be the same going forward? Without it being a new thing anymore, will they have to reduce the number of aircraft carriers per match? Or given how they play, will it only require a small amount of change? So maybe instead of only allowing one, maybe they'll have a maximum of three Per match and that would certainly make some sense now of course first off for these airstrike missions playing as an aircraft carrier puts you at a severe disadvantage because the mechanics and the know-how just aren't there you don't have the experience to know how to play as an aircraft carrier and you don't know how to use it most effectively now that you've had some time to play as an aircraft carrier what do you think uh, you know leave your comment down below what you think of the aircraft carriers as they are right now and what you think needs to be changed, if anything. Now, I'm going to say that aircraft carriers are woefully underpowered, and the best thing about aircraft carriers is the fact that they can spot enemy ships extremely early on, and even better with less risk than, say, a destroyer. So an aircraft carrier can put up some planes, they can just circle around without actually doing any damage, and they can scout out the enemy ships including other destroyers. So if you get within that range of detectability for the destroyers, then you'll be able to see them. And there's not a lot that those enemy destroyers can do about it. So the aircraft carrier can, can just kind of hover around or at least be within range of those different ships to give your team the ability to take them out. So on one hand, I think that the aircraft, like the catapult fighters on the ships, the other ships, like battleships or cruisers, are woefully underpowered. The only good thing about them in their current state is that they can help protect you against the airplanes from the aircraft carrier. Now, whether you're playing airstrike or not, you're still going to have some ships that are required to have catapult fighters, so they don't really serve a purpose beyond that. Now, on the other hand, aircraft carrier, both the torpedo and dive bomb airplanes seem woefully underpowered. The amount of damage that you do versus the time and the cost uh, in terms of the number of aircraft that you have, the number of aircraft that you have in reserve, it just isn't there. If I am a destroyer with three salvos or even two salvos of torpedoes, Versus an aircraft carrier with six aircraft, you have two airplanes that go down to drop torpedoes in the water, and then you're beyond the target, and you'll have to swing back around if you want to take another pass at them. In the meantime, you may have lost one or maybe even two airplanes in the process. So you lost your torpedoes from your one set of fighters, and then you may have lost one that already had a torpedo. So then instead of three runs, you're down to two runs etc. So it really goes back to they don't really do a whole lot of damage in terms of, you know, damage per second or damage overall. Now, additionally, you look at the number of 
airplanes that an aircraft carrier has. You have 10 aircraft and six go out at a time. That means you have four in reserve. If you lose any, of course, that reduces the number. They will regenerate over time, uh, usually about a minute per aircraft. So of course, as an aircraft carrier, you are going to switch between the two types as you go along. Now, one strategy I've seen that is at least good at concealment is that they go and run those six aircraft until they're all destroyed and then they launch another set of fighters. Uh, of course, the other type of fighter that they have, not the same type. So if you start with dive bombers, you go out, you take those dive bombers out, and you just keep flying with those until every single one gets shot down. Come back to the aircraft carrier, grab your torpedo bombers, whatever you want to call them, and take those out. Once all those get shot down, then you come back and you repeat the process with the dive bombers. This makes it more difficult for the enemy ships to find the aircraft carrier because the planes are not returning to the aircraft carrier. On the other hand, anyone that is within range will be able to see the direction that the airplanes are coming from and figure it out relatively quickly. Now on the plus side, there are a plethora of enemy ships to go through before you can get to the enemy aircraft carrier but they have the same idea as well. Uh, most players are trying to get to the aircraft carrier. However, there is a fleet of ships between you and the other aircraft carrier. And most of the time, the aircraft carrier is backing up or going to one edge of the map, making it more difficult to find. And you have to do a little bit of scouting in order to make that happen. But that's it. I hope you enjoy this video. Be sure to check us out on social media, and thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and we'll see you next time.